Everybody and welcome once more to another action-packed episode. Well, we hope again uh, we hope in this FIFA 19 Burnley career mode, and um, we've got two more interesting games for you. Both at Turf Moor, uh, we got Rosenberg in the second leg of the Europa League, where we lead by two goals to no, two away goals up. Excuse me, going into that second leg, and then we got Crystal Palace at Turf Moor in the league on. As we go out of February and into March. No League Cup final for us because we were knocked out earlier on. And then the next episode, two massive games there against United and Spurs. But it's looking very congested at the moment, that uh, fixture list. And possibly a, a, an FA Cup time um, on the ninth as well. so Or later on in the month. So anything could still happen. We've got, some plenty, we've got plenty, plenty to look forward to there in the month of March as well. But it's to Europe we go, and Rosenberg, can we finish the job and get through into the last 16 of the Europa League? Remember, we're two goals clear at the end of the first leg. Can we finish the job at Turf Moor here in this game, in this second leg? Let's get over there and find out what happened. Burnley look to try and steal a march into the last 16 of the Europa League. Two goals up from the first leg a week ago. Now they aim to finish the job in front of their own fans tonight. Against the Rosenberg side, it didn't really offer much until the last last few seconds of that first leg. Burnley make three changes from Saturday's Cup win against Cardiff. Back comes Tarkovsky, Danilo and Will Hughes in the midfield. Otherwise, it's the same team that booked their place in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup on Saturday against Cardiff. For Rosenberg... The equation is simple. They have to score twice without reply to force extra time. Three outright to win the tie. Hansen was one of their standout players a week ago in the first leg. Uh, a couple of changes as well. Hoyvan comes in and Nicholas Bettner keeps his place. Trumson did have a good game as well a week ago. But they're all going to have to have big games if they to get back into this last 32 clash Thank you. Enjoy the game. so the second leg really evenly poised Burnley two goals clear one you were th one goal from the Clarice you'll feel will be enough to take them through to the last 16 of Europa League so the second leg of the last 32 of the Europa League gets underway remember Burnley two goals ahead in from the first leg and here's Danilo for the Burnley here's Barnes oh dear Shot well wide of the target, and uh, well, Ashley Barnes will know that. He wasn't troubling Hansen, who played superbly, but a couple of good saves, it has to be said, the other week. Here's Jensen, or Kumartin, Delaney, Jensen, good football, ball back, oh, what a chance there, that could have been for Rosenberg. The ball pulled back across the goal mouth. And just for one resident moment there, that Burnley defence was in some kind of trouble. And Bennett just needed to get a positive touch. And that might have been 1-0 on the night and 2-1 on aggregate. As it is, it remains still 2-0 on aggregate. And Burnley and Rosenberg deadlocked at the moment at 0-0 in this second leg. And a long ball forward again up towards Bentner that time. But away by me. Oh my goodness me. What an opportunity that was for Delaney. The ball coming back to him rather fortuitously. Poor mistake there for me. Could have cost the Clarets. Last five minutes of the first half. This is Balotelli. Still Balotelli off. Well, Burnley trying to end the game once and for all and book their place into the last 16. And it's a Europa League to keep their trouble dream alive. And Balotelli came so close to booking the place. Here's Gunmanson. 
Balotelli won't go now. We'll end it all for for, for the tie. Here's Balotelli. Oh, what a save by Hansen! Well, he pulled off some miracle saves. Remember, in that first leg a week ago, he's just pulled off another magnificent save here and the near post. It was a really good save. And Rosenberg making the sub. Also, Leyland is going to come on for to replace Schoenberg Gummerson. There are some big league games coming up during the week. It's Burnley looking to finish it off once and for all. Leyland's first touch was to send the corner in. When Manuel has come on, incidentally, for Rosenberg. And the ball played in there. And a chance here for Cork. That's the goal they wanted. Jack Cork makes it 1 0. And really, it was poor defending by the Rosenberg defence. Cork dipped in, beat Jensen, and through the legs she went. 1 0. Jack Cork. Big moment in the game. And what a way to get your first goal in Europe. And that will be the goal that will surely now send Burnley through to the last 16 of the Europa League. What a great moment it was. They huffed and puffed. And in the end, Anta was beaten. Here's Barnes. And Barnes is through. Ashley Barnes, 2-0. That's another superb goal. Two goals in as many minutes. The aggregate goes to 4-0 now. And Ashley Barnes, who scored in the first leg, scores in the second leg. Thumping right foot shot. And not even the brilliant Hansen could get there. That settles it. 2-0. Game, set and match. And Ashley Barnes gets his third in Europe and puts Burnley through to the next round. Here's Bentner. Four goals down now, Rosenberg. And... Well out of this uh, game now. Those two quick fire goals from Burnley. I've seen to that. Here's Tronson looking for a consolation. Back towards Tronson over the top as Rignison comes off and Serbovic now comes on. Throw to Burnley. Here's Ben Meek. Burnley looking to finish now in the last seven or eight minutes with a real flourish. Lennon looked away. One ball forward, but that's Danilo's, and he's won it very well. Balotelli, winning this through on the far side. Can Barnes get there? Comes to Lennon, and three waiting in the centre. This is Brady against the post, and Brady again off the post again. <laughs> Lennon, here's Hughes. Hughes with the shot, good save by Hansen. Wow, what great goal, Matt action there. Brady hitting the post not once but twice, and then the final shot. Well tipped away by the goalkeeper Hansen from Will Hughes. And a corner only for the efforts. As Dennis replaces Hughes, incidentally. Here comes the corner, flicked in. Brady will be the unluckiest man in the stadium. Not that it would have mattered in the grand scheme of things. There's the shot. Charge down. And Rosenberg really making a real. Pigs here are clearing it. We're into three other minutes, for which we're halfway through. So Burnley now, just seeing it out now, just making sure that the victory was safe, and then two quick fire goals have more than done that now. As we go into the dying seconds of the game, Burnley all assured of a last 16 berth in the Europa competition, and there goes the full time whistle. 4 0 aggregate winners over two legs in this last 32 encounter. Against Norwegian side Rosenberg. Burnley made hard work of it, but two quick fire goals from Jack Cork and then Ashley Barnes have seen them over the line. So Burnley through to the last 16 in Europa League. They've won over two eggs, 2 0 on the night here, and 4 0 in total on aggregate. Well done there to the Clarets. It was a fantastic performance and well deserved 4 0 winners over Rosenberg. Uh, made heavy work with the second leg, but even so, we still managed to have a way with, enough way with all to get over the line and win the game. So, fantastic. So, here's a draw for the round of 16, and some massive teams still left in there, and another English teams left, team left in there. 
And let's have a look at the draw then. Shakhtar Donetsk will play AC Milan. Napoli of Italy will take on Arsenal. Seville against Red Bull Leipzig. Might have tired that's going to be. Uh, for over two legs. Standard Liège of Belgium take on Sporting Club Portugal of Portugal, of course. And then you've got Stad René against Rapid Vienna. Victoria Plelsen against FC Porto. Inter Milan take on Valencia. And our reward for getting past Rosenberg is an away drip to France to face Bordeaux. So, looking forward to that. And because of that draw... We were going to do the Crystal Palace game, but because we've got through in that um, Rosenberg tie, we were due to play Spurs when Rosenberg, uh, when uh, when the at the time when Bordeaux was supposed to play. So we were supposed to play Spurs actually on one of the days where I think it was the seventh, but that collides with the away tie. So Palace will have to wait until the next episode. Crystal Palace game will have to wait until the next episode because instead. They've brought the Tottenham game forward, so we're now going to get a potential championship decider. Now, considering we're 10 points clear with two games in hand, this is probably one of the one games in hand. One of, this is We're still going to have two games in hand despite winning this. If we win this and go 13 points clear, boy, we're going to make use of those two games in hand. And we, if we win both of those, we're champions. So this is a real opportunity now. So an unexpected shot now to beat Spurs and put pressure on them. And knowing that we've got two games in hand, this is going to be unbelievable. Spurs will now play their 28th game of the season. We're going to play our 26th. So let's get down to the turf for a potential title decider. Unexpected, perhaps, but we're going to get it now against, against Tottenham. Burnley step out onto the field against Tottenham, knowing that another win will take them so much closer to this league championship. And here is the lineup: Hart in goal, and then the same back four: Danilo, Tarkovsky, me, and Shaw. Who are some so ma magnificently as a back four together. And then Gunmanson, Cork, Hughes, and Brady, and then Balotelli and Barnes, the two men up front that have caused so many problems with opposition defences. And the latest to stand in those two's ways is a Tottenham side. It has Hugo Lloris in goal. We'll take that Spurs team now. Hugo Lloris will play in goal, the French captain. And it's Trippier, the ex-claret, Eric Dyer, Aldevero and Ogilvy across the back. So very unfamiliar back four. Uh, Dembele and Savic are the two holders. Eriksen, Ali and Son, the further, further forward in midfield. And then Harry Kane leading the line up front. For Spurs to this uh, this evening, so a pretty strong lineup, although an unfamiliar back four. But still, the threat up front is still a very potent one for Tottenham. Burnley to get us underway. Shall I say Ashley Barnes to get us underway? And away we go. Well, it's ram jam packed. Burnley have got a, a very tough schedule to come. So we go into the. As we come towards the business end of the season, an early shot there, which was fielded by Hugo Lloris. As Savage plays the ball forward and looks for Kane. Ali takes it up, and again, back to Kane. Good football again, Eriksen back to Kane. Good one-twos here from being supplied by Spurs, and Kane with his left foot. Hits it over the top. But a real opportunity there for Spurs. Both have had a chance either end. And Harry Kane hitting that just wide. Oh, that's a good ball. Now then, chance. Balotelli, good save for Hugo Lloris. A real save of international quality and class. Hit with the right foot here of the Italian. He's hit that superbly well. Maybe a little closer to the goalkeeper than he would have estimated. But still in need of the save from the French captain to turn it out for a corner. Goodmanson to take. Goodmanson pointing in there. It towards Tarkovsky. Another good save. This time at the near post. By Hugo Lloris. Good corner from Goodmanson. And there's the header. And that is a magnificent save. So, second corner in quick succession for the Clarets. Again, Goodmanson whipping it in towards Tarkovsky that time. Cork will try and retrieve it, but Deli Alli has won it now for Spurs, but he then he gives it away to Danilo. Hughes has got a little bit of space here to his uh, to his left, and a good shot, and just over the top. 
But what a wonderful passage of play there from both sides. And Hughes just hitting that one just over the bar. Son. Straight to me and now Danilo. Oh, lovely football down the side. And here goes Goodmanson again. Lovely play. Now Barnes. Now Hughes. Big chance. And over the top. Another great opportunity with 10 minutes to go to the break. And Hughes just couldn't keep his shot down. But a lovely move. And now a chance for Barnes. Breakthrough with a third minute of stoppage time. Actually Barnes has done it. And Burnley take the lead. Great play. Balotelli laying the ball through. Lovely weight on the pass. And Balotelli smashes it in. Larris with his outstretched leg. Right leg could not keep it out. I think he might have got a toe on that, but it wasn't enough. That's all sweetly in the bottom left hand corner. And Burnley have the lead. And yet again, goal number 16 this season for Ashley Barnes. It's a big goal for him. And he just needs a number four, and he'll, he'll hit 20 in the season for the first time since his Brighton days when they were playing in the third tier of English football. Hard time here at Turf Ball, incidentally. Well, it's been nip and tuck throughout, but actually Barnes with virtually the last kick of the first half with a splendid goal right on the stroke of half time. And at half time now, it's Burnley 1, it's Tottenham 0. Here comes Spurs now. Six, nine minutes into the second half, that's going to be a three kick, a foul on Deli Alley. And Burnley, uh, Burnley have conceded a three kick in a very dangerous position here. Spurs have got a chance. Ericsson up behind this one. Harry Kane possibly. Going to be left by K for Ericsson, and it just didn't have the dip to trouble Joe Hart in the Burnley goals at all. And in actual fact, I would have felt that uh, Big Joe Hart would have had it covered anyway. Substitution been made for Spurs. Out of Vierald, he's uh, been withdrawn, and Davison Sanchez is now on. As Joe Hart is preparing. For the goal kick in just a second or two. But I just think, uh, but Burnley, if they can get that second one, they'll have the bit between their teeth. Hart's kick. Balotelli couldn't win it. Now Shaw will have it on the near side. It's a good ball into Oswell Hughes. And he's got space for the shot, and it's a great one and a great save. Some marvellous save. By Hugo Maurice to deny Will use another unbelievably good block busting goal. Here's Shaw. Up towards Barnes. And a good ball to Goodmanson. Now this could be trouble for Tottenham as Goodmanson goes for goal. And he hits it into the side of the net and behind for a goal kick. Substitution to be made by Burnley. Robbie Brady comes off. And on comes Lennon, so he'll play on the left-hand side of midfield. Deli Alley. Cross punched away, well as far as Dembele. Now a chance here for Savic. Savic with the shot and over. Big chance for Tottenham. Savic knows that was a great chance. And in fact, he's now come off for Spurs. And in fact, Victor Wanyama has replaced him. In fact, it deflected, so it will be a corner. So Wanyama takes his place. Burnley about to make a substitution themselves. Ashley Barnes's race has been won, run, and off comes he, and on comes Emmanuel Dennis now for the remainder of the second half, which has got about something like 17 minutes to go. Ericsson's corner then, and it's in towards Wanyama. That's his first touch of the ball, and it almost produced the equaliser. But here's Lennon, and Dennis is up ahead. Now then, Lennon, that's a beautifully weighted ball, and Dennis is onto it. 2 now, brilliant goal! Brilliant goal from Dennis! It's 2 now. Full marks to Aaron Lennon, the sub. And he finds the other sub. Dennis to make it 2. One substitute to another. And that's all he needed. Cool finish, corners personified. Burnley, now barring accidents, look like getting the points. And Dennis claims he's seventh of the season and Burnley's second tonight. 
And here's Balotelli now looking to make it three. And he smashed it over the top of Larissa's crossbar. Burnley looking to finish in some style here. And if Mario Balotelli had hit the target and beaten Larissa, well, that would have been some goal. I have to say, Emmanuel Dennis played his part as well with a little, little pirouetted back heel. Spurs incidentally have uh, made a substitution. Sonner's, ray, Sonner's run his race and Pereira now replaces him for the remaining nine minutes. 2-0 to Burnley. And it looks a lost course for Spurs. This is Ali. You never know with Harry Kane on the field. Anything could happen. Kane is a very deadly finisher. He scored a few goals against Burnley in the past. Oh dear me, that's a foul. Tarkovsky going in very strong. Yellow card for James Tarkovsky. Got a bit of afters there. Goodmanson involved was a bit of a meaty challenge it's got to be said from Tarkovsky as uh, Ben Mee comes off and Ben Gibson comes on for the remainder of the second half deep into stoppage time now here's Tarkovsky already booked remember now caught good effort Oof. it's a good try and just wide as we've had the halfway through the four minutes that's been allocated with a good effort there by Jack Cork, very unlucky there not to score. But Burnley will not be too unduly worried about that. The points are theirs, the game is theirs. It's going to be a claret and blue evening here in Lancashire. As Spurs look well beaten in the end. Burnley have won it. A goal either side of half time. Firstly, from Ashley Barnes just before the break. And then Emmanuel Dennis after 73, 75 minutes on the breakaway. Set up by another substitute, Aaron Lennon. And Burnley claim a huge victory here as they go romping away with the Premier League. The treble is looming large now for the Clarets if they can keep this up. And who knows what might happen in May. Final score then at the turf. Burnley 2, Tottenham Hotspur no. What a win that is, and that could potentially decide the title because we're 14 points ahead, or 13 points ahead rather, with two games in hand. Win those two games in hand, we're going to be surely be champions, and that is brilliant. And we couldn't have wished for a better way to end the episode. Well, we thought it was going to be Crystal Palace. Then, it, then the schedule changed significantly and then we ended up having to play Spurs and really I'm just glad that's out of the way and revenge for what happened at, Top, at White Hart Lane is always quite brilliant and quite sweet anyway so fantastic performance really delighted that we got the three points only lost three all season we've won 22 of our 26 matches unbelievable really when you think about it and considering that we lost our first two at the start, it's some going. And here we are now, ripping it up. 13 points ahead with two games in hand. Win those two games in hand, we're virtually there. And we're going to be virtually champions anyway. So, absolutely delighted about that. We got to play Crystal Palace, who are struggling for their lives. A point above the relegation waters uh, against um, Newcastle and Huddersfield and Cardiff. On, on all that jazz so plenty to look forward to there and before we leave you as well finally the draw for the quarterfinals of the FA Cup easy there in fact let's just check the replays uh, Chelsea 3 Fulham 1 was a result at Stamford Bridge and Manchester City and Manchester United drew 2-2 two -two, but it's Manchester City who won that uh, replay 4-3 on penalties real dramatic game at the Etihad in stark contrast to the first game which was a dull nil-nil and this really is the draw now. Some big games there. Watford entertain Manchester City. Sheffield Wednesday are at home to Leicester. So a big opportunity for a championship side potentially to reach the semi-finals. And Sheffield Wednesday have uh, are the last representation from the EFL left in the FA Cup. Uh, Newcastle will play Chelsea at St James's Park. And we've got to go to the London Stadium to play West Ham in, in the quarterfinals there. So plenty of great ties there. Watford, Man City. So it's a potential banana skins and ourselves, Chelsea and Manchester City drawn away from home. Could be a tricky test and a tricky test for Leicester 
having to go to Hillsborough to play Sheffield Wednesday. Right, anyway, that brings us to the end of our uh, episode. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow. Well, tune in next time because we will have some quarterfinal. We will have Crystal Palace at home for definite this time. And then we'll have an away match with Manchester United as well. Look at that. Very busy schedule. Two legs with Bordeaux. So much in between now the away match at Anfield against Liverpool. Then after that second leg, that cup tie we were talking about against West Ham. Newcastle in midweek and then Wolves at home at the end of March. So plenty to look forward to there. It's going to be a busy end to the season. And uh, I hope you can join us then for a real couple of games. If we win those two games, then surely now, barring the shouts, and we have to be champions. But it's getting towards that time, even at this early stage of the season where we are pulling away. We've just got to make sure that we get at least 14 points in the next 12 to 15 points and we will be, without a shadow of a doubt, champions of the Premier League and that will be a fantastic achievement and uh, really is brilliant. And again, before we go, Premier League of the shortlist. Here are the four candidates we have. From left to right, we've got Ashley Barnes. We've got Eddie Hazard, we've got Robbie Brady, and we've got Mario Balotelli. Who, who's going to get that? I do not know. Barnes won in January. Will he win in February? We'll certainly find out in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching it. It's been an absolute, ama it's been amazing. And we hope to see you for the next episode where it's a league double bill against Crystal Palace and Manchester United very soon. But for now, for me, JB, take care, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.